Hello everybody and welcome to this week's Hobbies for Health. This week is Writers Week. We have two special guests for you. We have Reese Leons. She is a poet and she is going to be giving us some tips on how we can get started in writing poetry. We also have G, who is a writer, but this week he's going to be talking to us about mental health and what he's been doing during this time to keep himself feeling well. G was the first black police officer to come out as gay. But first, we're going to go across to David in his garden, who's going to be talking to us about climbers. Hello. So today I wanted to review a specific plant, something which is very easy to grow, uh, which brings a lot of joy and which is probably one most of you have heard of. So today we're going to look at honeysuckle and you can see there is one on this pillar behind me uh, growing in with a lovely lilac clematis which incidentally is a great idea if you've got the space, whether it's a support like this or whether it's a fence with a trellis on, um, mix two or three climbers together, especially, I mean, mine both flower at the same time of year, which is not really the best idea because you'd like to stagger the interest, but when they come out together like this, they look amazing. The honeysuckle, as you can see, it's got this amazing reddish color to it. You get all kinds of varieties, yellows, oranges, but the one thing they all tend to have in common is a beautiful smell, which I know you can't smell, but I certainly can, and it is lovely. Um, I've mixed it in here with this sort of lavender coloured clematis, which does flower a second time later in the year, if you cut it back a little bit, um, because these colours together are gorgeous. Um, honeysuckle is easy to grow and very rewarding, even in a small space. Um, it's probably one your grandmother grew, but there's a good reason for that, because it is beautiful. So that is my profile for the week. Honeysuckle, easy to grow, likes a lot of sun, um, doesn't need the best quality soil, although always helps if you can mix in some compost when you're planting it and give it a good water and uh, it will reward you for years and years to come. Hi, my name is G. I'm a black gay male who lives by himself and during this lockdown it's thrown up some interesting challenges and I've been asked to talk about how I've maintained my mental health how I've maintained my, my sanity during this time period. Well, I've been doing a number of things. One is I've, I've made a list, or I've got a pile of books that I've, I've been reading through. I have a book that I read in the living room, I have a book that I read in the bedroom, and I have a book that I read when I'm in the toilet. Right. Um, I've also been doing a lot of writing. I like writing short stories and I'm currently writing my biography, so that's been interesting. And I like to engage with the world through WhatsApp groups. I'm a member of a number of WhatsApp groups. I'm also a member of a number of groups on Facebook and I use those to engage with the world, speak with people so that I know that I still have contact with what's going on in the outside world. And I make sure I take a walk for an hour and a half each day. A nice long walk where I put an audio book on and I just take a long walk. And I think it's important to do all those things. The other thing I'm doing is upskilling myself. So I'm doing a number of online courses, which I think is a way of keeping the brain active as well. So that by the time we come out of this, I'm in a position to do something different or to do something better. And I heard a question the other day, which really, really resonated with me. And it's, it's kind of my motivator for what I'm doing to keep myself sane. And the question is this, this will end. This will be at an end at some point. And when you look back on this time, the question is, how would you like to remember it? And I would like to remember it as I made a difference to me so I could make a difference to others. I made a difference to me so that I could make a difference to others. Take care of yourself, people. Good mental health. So, yes, today I'm going to be talking to you about um, my favourite hobby. Um, so my name is Rhys, uh, Rhys Lyons, and I am a poet uh, for my living. Um, but poetry actually started out as one of my favourite hobbies. So um, I'm going to create a very short little video where I'm going to teach you a really fun poetry exercise that anyone can do. It doesn't matter whether you've written a poem before or um, whether you're completely new and a beginner. 
Um, and basically the exercise, the exercise is literally called free writing. So if you don't know what free writing is, um, it's a style of writing, which is basically just a stream of consciousness. So what you have to do is I'm going to give you a prompt, um, which is basically like the beginning of a sentence to spark some ideas in your mind. And then you have to write, uh, I would recommend that you time yourself, maybe around five minutes, and you basically can't take your pen off the page. Um, this is a really great way to generate material and to write your first poem. Um, so the prompt that I'm going to give you is called home is. So I want you to finish the sentence, home is, and then go from there. Um, just focus fi on filling the page, don't worry about getting in your head about it, don't worry about what your handwriting looks like, don't worry about um, whether anyone's going to see it or anything like that, just focus on literally just pouring whatever's in your brain out onto the page, whether or not it makes sense or not, it doesn't matter. Um, so the prompt is home is, and then just keep writing for five minutes. You can think about home in terms of like the location that you grew up in. You can think about home in terms of place. Like does it spark memories of your childhood, for instance, or who did you grow up with when you was a child? But you can also start to think more poetically. So maybe home to you means something different. So if home was a colour, what colour would home be to you? Or if it was a smell, what would it smell like? Or a sound? Or if home was a person? These are things that you can think about during the free write. Um, I chose home is obviously because we're all stuck at home during the lockdown. So I hope everyone is doing well. And yes, please let me know how your free rights go. Just remember to time yourself for five minutes and best of luck. Now over to Jack and it's bye from me. So for my job this week, I'm going to be finishing this part of my garden. As you can see, it's a little bit of a mess. So we have some painting work to do and some landscaping. And hopefully in a couple of weeks I can show you a completely finished garden which I'm very much looking forward to. Um, we'd like to thank all of our special guests for joining us this week. Don't forget tomorrow is Garden Day UK and as a special treat tomorrow at 8pm on our vlog we will be having a nighttime special so make sure you check that out. If you've enjoyed today's vlog please make sure to like, comment and subscribe and also as always if possible please do donate to our charity which is switchboard lgbtq plus helpline and the link for our just giving page is in the comment box below so thanks very much for joining us and we'll see you again soon bye for now